Hi guys, welcome back. This is another update for the Oxygen OS users for the OnePlus 3. So we have received a new OTA which is Android Nougat Base 4.0.3. So it's available for both OnePlus 3 and 3T and they share the same change log. So this is for OnePlus 3. So that's unfortunate. I am showing the change log uh, on the Google Pixel because uh, this Geo is too slow to even the load this page here. And I'm, uh, as you can see, this is for the 4.0.3 and this is for the 3T. Uh, and that was one plus three so both share the same chain log so guys first of all as usual the stories and experience so let me share you my stories and experience uh, that was time when i was installing the update so i just filmed a small video so let's go and check out so you guys you can see how we can do that so on one plus three i'm using this opera we've been connected to canada and i'm just going to check out and see how you can do here on the one plus three t uh, with the vpn using that so i just downloaded and installed opera vpn you should connect to Canada so it has got connected and I should go to the setting check for system updates checking for updates and I should get you can see uh, pretty amazing it is 92 MB it is 91 MB anyways both are different so also font is different here you can see changes are almost same they just change the font so and 1702 zero compiled on the same day this time in different I'm just going to download it and let's see so I'm just going to reboot uh, try to upgrade and let's see whether uh, with the Canada method like the Ultra VPN stuff where you can uh, really uh, update or not anyways let's see that's what I said it happened crap god damn I don't know why they create this OTA method when this every time this fails then so guys uh, installation is failed on the oneplus 3t with the OTA with the Canada method so I, I said here it's not sure sometime it does work sometime it doesn't so either you can enter again to the recovery mode or maybe you can better flash it with the OTA uh, side load and download the complete flash so I'm just trying here on oneplus 3 again for oneplus 3t it has failed so let's give a try on oneplus 3 now you can see and this time it is showing a uh, update of near to 1.4 gigabytes see if we got a lot of internet so let me go and try to download or uh, maybe i'm just going to try out here i'm going to see let's see it has done 100 percent i'm just going to do a reboot first what i will do i'll just go and disconnect it then i'll try to update let's see it's going to try something else and maybe this time that should work So I don't know uh, whether it, it's going to work or not because uh, the OTA never works with this uh, twerp. So still it's coming here and trying to do something. Let's see. I'm just going to give it a try here. It's an R&D stuff. If it is working great. It's trying to patch something and let's see. And here I'm going to do another R&D since the first time OTA installation was failed. So I'm just going to connect again uh, with this Opera VPN. So it's not taking this OTA, it's taking complete 1.4 gigabytes. So device is up and let's see what kind of build we got here this time. Let's see, taking again system update. What is that? Oh, system has been updated successfully. So that's weird guys. Uh, with Turp, we are able to stall it. Okay, and we are on 4.3 so that was surprising I installed just now using flashify I flash the stock recovery here and I thought it should work and I was no idea like 12 was here I thought uh, this should be uh, stock recovery here because I just rolled back from lineage OS to 4.2 anyways uh, it's working that's how we install here on the oneplus 3 so I'm just going to uh, download the complete uh, GIF file on the computer and then I will flash it here in the meantime we will start and see what are the changes log on the oneplus 3 okay guys so let's check out the changes here so this is what complete change logs here first is added Wi-Fi IPv6 support toggle and first off uh, you see the build number is still of December 6th which uh, is already may, uh, moved to this uh, I guess February so right here you can see the Android already had an update for the February security patch level. OnePlus is still on the December so not a problem 
any stuff whether yeah ipv6 you can see ipv6 support is here disabling ipv6 can avoid compatibility issues with certain wi-fi routers so for advanced routers or for some uh, different carrier specific network they do use ipv6 because it uh, you know organization is very large so they have moved the ipv6 just because of ip before shortage so you can see this thing is here and so that's the first change optimize the smart wi-fi switcher if turned on device will switch to data connection the wi-fi signal is consistently poor so you can see that's the smart wi-fi switcher here right if i turn that on so in case your connectivity is low your phone can immediately switch to the uh, mobile data and wi-fi vice versa so that sort of option is already there if you just go to the developer option you will get these things there already but it looks like they have moved it to outside with a bit uh, enhanced thing fix crashes for line so that's for line messenger in case you're using increase stability for the camera app so i did not found any issues earlier too and uh, it was pretty great here let's see any new options now so that's got my mice but great as usual flashing 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 it's not a problem so that's great and the next thing is here uh, optimize exposure when taking nighttime photos so you should have to go to the first of the manual mode once you go to the manual mode and uh, you got some new increase to the this is iso and let's see so they have increased this uh, exposure sensitivity so i need to check that first i will go in the night and you know guys try to do some stuff uh, comparing with a pixel so maybe i can let you guys know better so you like whether the camera is really improved or not because i have to do some old shots i'll try to compare with them okay so an updated audio parameters and improve uh, quality for audio recordings uh they did not mention they just said updated audio parameters that means uh, nothing is added new everything is done uh, in, inside the os level itself so you might feel uh, if you guys are regular music streamer or video player you might can notice that i'll try to play that and see if something is weird i will let you guys know otherwise it's fine updated apn setting for certain carriers that's again a specific carrier network maybe in the europe and us countries and amazon prime app will be pre-installed that i really hate we got both kindle and amazon shopping and prime video is there so that too was already there in the previous bill i guess for order two so you already got a prime video in case uh, you are amazon prime member you can definitely go and enjoy that so these are the uh, changes that are new made and some known issues are still there as you can see uh, wi-fi disconnections if you experience uh, frequent wi-fi disconnection please go to the setting configure wi-fi and if you experience frequent wi-fi disconnection due to switches between wi-fi and data so you can turn that off so do not turn that on in case uh, you know you got a lot of issues and if you still experience wi-fi connections please send me a personal message so that's especially for the wi-fi i guess people are nowadays using lt much so and for those who are on the previous version one plus three now it's time to check out the benchmarking score so right here in front of you is the score that we got here on the previous for one plus three when it was running the oxyns 4.0.2 the scores were pretty great here now comparing with the current 4.0.3 this is what I got here. The single core score is quite similar, almost just 30 point, 33 point difference. But the multi score is getting quite low. It's almost uh, near to 300 uh, points less. So really, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, there's something issues happened, like uh, one plus three T was being caught uh, cheating the benchmarking score. I already made a little video. A lot of people have concerns on that. But anyways, guys, make sure to watch that video in case you're interested. So let's see the score of the NT2. So this is in front of you, uh, 59012 when it was on the Oxygenus 4.0.2. Comparing with the current 4.0.3, this is what I got, 150168. So it's pretty low. And again, I'm not saying this is due to the benchmark cheating that OnePlus has done something else. Uh, devices are still very great, uh, not a thing as always said. And don't believe on the benchmarking numbers. So whatever it comes, fine. Just physically use the device and. Uh, based on that we used to decide whether the device is working fast or not so that's it guys for this a uh, quick update in change log and please share me your uh, experiences issues how did you install on the comment section because a lot of people are reading and after solution did you get any issues or not and also you can check out on the forum like a lot of issues are coming call signals and mobile data is not working for many users they said so uh that's three to five this is hotfix game amazon prime pre-installed okay and i did uh, read something some wi-fi dropping issues you can see a lot of wi-fi issues are coming camera a uh, lot of issues have faced some status bar issues has just came so uh, just please go and read out this uh, oneplus community forum so that's it for this video this is sort of i hope you guys enjoyed this i will catch you very soon thanks for watching